Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Wadge. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we'll be doing our graphical benchmark comparison of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt for the PC. So what we're going to do is take a look at the six most popular graphics cards you can get in the marketplace, put them head to head and see what the graphical performances and frame rates are on each graphics cards when playing Witcher 3 at different resolutions. So if you're interested in that, let's get right into this. Now the six graphics cards in question comprise of three cards from NVIDIA, three cards from AMD. On the NVIDIA side, we're using a GTX 980 and 970, both from EVGA, a, a GTX 960 from a Gigabyte. On the AMD side, we're using the R9 290X. This is a Sapphire card that looks very similar to the reference card. Furthermore, we're also using the XFX version of the R9 280X and the ASUS version of the R9 270X. Now you can find brief specifications just below each graphics card. You can also find more detailed information about each card in the description down below. Now the benchmarking rig that we're going to be using is as follows over here. It's basically comprised of an Intel Core i7-5820K that's slightly overclocked to about 4.6 GHz. We're using the MSI X99S motherboard platform. We have 64 gigs of a DDR4 memory. We're using four Samsung Evo SSDs in RAID 10 configuration. Again, if you want more information about the rig definitely check the description down below where you find a more detailed breakdown now for our display we're going to be using the dell p2715 q this is going to allow us to set the witcher 3 at three different resolutions and the resolutions that we're going to benchmark is first 1920 by 1080 then uh, 2560 by 1440 and then finally the full 4k resolution of 3840 by 2160 now in terms of our in-game graphical settings to keep things as simple as possible we're just going to use the ultra preset for our graphical settings and we're going to use the high preset for our post processing settings to make things as consistent as possible now the way that we're going to test all the gpus is i'm just going to play the same quest on all of the different uh, gpus and all the different resolutions and uh, we're just going to take a look at the average and minimum frames per second on each run so i'm going to make sure i'm as consistent as possible but there's always little variables here and there when playing any open world game but we'll try to control those as much as possible so let's go ahead and actually take a look at uh, all the different benchmarks and we'll start with the 1920 by 1080p results. Now, as you saw from the results over here, basically The Witcher 3 overall is a fairly demanding title, especially when you get up there in terms of resolution. In terms of 1920 by 1080p, it's definitely not bad. Even if you don't have the most powerful graphics card, you can get a decently playable frame rates. Now, we've set things to ultra settings, so you might want to dial it back down, and that way you get a lot better overall frame rates that will be a lot more consistent throughout your long and hard journey of slaying different monsters and understanding Polish mythology at a deeper level. Now, if we were to rank all the GPUs in terms of best to worst, we're basically going to take a look at the GTX 980 at the top of that list. It does the best in terms of all of our tests, and that's not any big surprise because it is the most powerful graphics cards. It's also the most expensive. Next would kind of be a tie between the GTX 970 and the R9 290X. The R9 290X does a little bit better when it comes to the higher end resolutions, especially when it comes to 4K, but at 1920 by 1080 we found that the 970 was a little bit faster. 
Moving forward, it's kind of the same story when comparing the GTX 960 to the R9 280X when it comes to 1920 by 1080. Looks like the uh, 960 is a little bit faster, but when you start ramping up that resolution, the 280X slightly outperforms the 960 by just a couple of frames per second. And uh, last place is obviously going to be our R9 270X, which is completely unplayable at the higher resolution. And if you lower down the uh, detail settings, I'm sure you can get decently playable frame rates at 1920 by 1080 and lower resolutions. But really, other than that, guys, that's really it. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and enjoyed it, helped you out in some way. That would be really awesome. And if you want to make videos like this possible and help support the channel, definitely check out the description down below where you'll find our Amazon links to each of the graphics cards. And if you get any of those cards or get anything through of our Amazon links, it uh, gives us a little bit, bit something to make videos like this possible. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps greatly. Trust Trust me, it takes over 40 hours to make videos like this possible because as you would imagine, I have to go through each graphics cards and uh, do the run separately, which can get a little bit tedious, but I can't really complain because it's pretty fun playing The Witcher 3. But again, thanks so much for watching and thank you so much for your support. We'll see you later. Take care.